Hey, welcome to another video. So if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that last week I was lucky enough to be invited to Paris to watch Rafa play at Roland Garros. Now, it was an incredible experience, maybe the best experience I've had watching a live tennis match. Of course, I took lots of videos. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you how this came about, and I'm gonna show you a little bit about behind the scenes of what it's like at the French Open at a night session in VIP hospitality. Plus, I'll talk about what it was like seeing Rafa play in the flesh. Let's check it out. So, the Wednesday before the French Open was due to start, I receive a random email from Renault UK. When I opened up the email, initially I thought it was spam. In fact, I'll get it up now. The title of the email read, Invitation from Renault, Roland Garros, 25th, 26th of May, 2022, Paris. So naturally, I replied straight away, yes please. At first, I was a little bit dubious as it seemed far too good to be true. But after emailing PR team back and forth, it turned out that it was actually the real deal. I was going to the French Open, a tournament that I've never been to before, but a tournament that I've always wanted to. Anyway, I received the itinerary a few days later, and the first thing I looked for was when am I going to be going to the French Open? I wanted to see which matches I was gonna be able to watch. And lucky for me, we were on Philippe Chatrier on the Wednesday evening session. I knew straight away that Rafael Nadal was due to play on Wednesday. I didn't know that it was the evening session, but I had my hopes up. What was even cooler was I got a plus one, so I took my wife, Sophie. We travelled up on the Wednesday morning, nice and early, up to London on the train from my hometown in Portsmouth. When we arrived at Eurostar, we realised that we were actually travelling business class, which I've not done before. So we went straight to the business lounge, and that is where we met the people that were on the trip with us. Anyway, we got off the Eurostar at the other end in France, got a transfer over to our hotel, which was called Mama Shelter, amazing hotel, where we had a rooftop lunch. When we arrived at Roland Garros for the night session, it was around 7 p.m. We went straight to gate five, which was where the Renault entrance was. Renault are the premium partner for Roland Garros for the next five years and have a really cool hospitality suite overlooking some of the outdoor courts. I've never been to the French Open before, so doing it in this style was absolutely incredible and may actually spoil my future visits to the tournament, as I don't think much can beat this. Outside of our little hospitality suite, looking below, we could see court seven, which is where Petra Kvitova was playing in her second round match, which unfortunately she lost, but watching it from that bird's eye view was incredible. After spending around an hour and a half in the hospitality suite, eating food, watching some great tennis, we were escorted by one of the Roland Garros staff all the way down to Philippe Chatrier. On the way, we stopped off at the Renault exhibition, where we saw some of their latest range of cars. After the Renault exhibition, we headed straight onto Philippe Chatrier, which the atmosphere when we got there was already buzzing and it was around 10 minutes before the players were due to arrive on court. We sat down in the most incredible seats in the third row to the side of the court behind the umpire's chair. Rafael Nadal, 13-time French Open champion, was due to play Corentin Moutet, French player, so the crowd was gonna be super lively. I've been to Wimbledon a number of times as well as watching the O2 World Tour Finals and nothing has compared to the atmosphere on Philippe Chatrier in the second round of the French Open watching Rafa play. The crowd went wild when Corentin entered the court. But even more wild when Rafa did. Like that. 
I've seen Nadal play at Wimbledon and lots of other events before, but usually I'm sat a lot further back. Sitting in these front row seats really brings everything home. You really can't grasp the level that they play at on the television until you're stood next to them, hearing the sound that that ball makes when they strike it. What really strikes you straight away when you watch Rafael Nadal play in the flesh is not the speed of his shots, but the weight of them. The way that the ball kicks up after it hits the ground is incredible. Throughout the match, Corentin played some really good shots. He was a very skilled player with great hands. He had good drop shots, good slices, and really good flair to his game. Unfortunately, the main difference from what I could see was Nadal's shots were landing a couple of feet deeper than his were, allowing Nadal to really dictate play. As well as the weight of Nadal's shots, the depth was superb. I've always seen Nadal to hit the ball quite short compared to most players, but actually watching him courtside, you can see the depth and the weight of his shots really damages his opponents. And what was even more striking was when Rafa was at his full stretch and at his full range, he was still able to hit his unbelievable shots. I took a lot more footage of this match than you're seeing here. I'm planning on making a couple more videos on what it's like watching Rafa play on court. So if you've got any questions about seeing Rafa play, let me know in the comments below and I'll try to answer them in my next video. So for those of you that are watching to find out whether you should go to the French Open, this experience that I had was very unique. It's not a normal experience that you get from standard tickets. However, from seeing the atmosphere on Philippe Chatrier, it's definitely a tournament that I want to go back to. As we were there for another day, I tried desperately hard to get hold of some ground pass tickets to have a look at the rest of the grounds. However, it was impossible. So my one piece of advice is if you're looking to go to the French Open next year, make sure that you try to get hold of your tickets as soon as they come out, as they're super hard to get hold of. Although we didn't get to go to the French Open on our second day there, we did get to have a little look around Paris which was really really nice. In fact when we were walking past the Eiffel Tower we walked past Taylor Fritz on his way through who had just got knocked out the day before. I kind of regret that I wasn't brave enough to ask him for a picture but hey maybe next time. Anyway I hope you enjoyed the video let me know if you've got any questions about going to Roland Garros below or if you've got any questions about what it was like seeing Rafa play. I look forward to seeing you in next week's video. Take care.